Well, Tennessee Tech is now training students to save lives. There's now a course that's offered. It's teaching what to do during and after a mass shooting. Yeah, WSMV's Joylyn Bukovac talked to that professor. Joylyn, he says it's already making an impact. That's right. He says staying aware of your surroundings is key when it comes to avoiding potentially dangerous situations and reporting suspicious behaviors to law enforcement. That, again, that's all according to that professor I talked to, Dr. Mark Warnick. He worked as a first responder for more than 30 years. Now he's teaching a seven week course that covers how to avoid dangerous situations. Dr. Warnick says research shows 78% of the time mass shooters show warning signs such as wearing heavy clothing when it's warm outside or continuously touching the side of their ankle or waist because this could mean they're armed and they're trying to keep that weapon secure. We know what those warning signs are and learn how to identify them and to report them before they ever happen, we can prevent a lot of death and destruction that's happening today. One Tennessee Tech student says what he learned in that class potentially saved his life. Just two weeks ago, Tennessee Tech student John Craw, he was in this park in Atlanta when he noticed something seemed off. He was able to identify several signs of a potentially armed and dangerous person. He then told his friends they needed to leave just in case. Shortly after they left, someone opened fire, shooting a bystander. Cross professor says this proves everyone needs to know their, these signs and they need to be constantly aware of their surroundings. When you see the warning signs, it's not just one. It's multiple you look for, two, three, four, five. And he saw three signs and he said, this is not a good situation. He says reporting the signs can help law enforcement tremendously. He also teaches his students what to do and how to render first aid. This way they can help a shooting victim until an ambulance arrives. Joylyn Bukovac, WSMV4.